morning. Today is Monday, April 13th, A-Day. I'm Joanna Weidenhammer. And I'm Megan Weidenhammer. And this is Kennedy Live. Mr. Fury's classes today will resume in room 113. In weather, it is cloudy, 39 degrees, a high of 68, and a low of 51. Happy birthday to James Weeder. Have any announcements that need to be read on Kennedy Live? Send them in to Kennedy, Kennedy Live TV at gmail.com or go to the Submit News tab at the Kennedy Catholic website. There will be a Kennedy Live meeting on Wednesday right after the show. All members should attend. Ms. McGowan will be holding review sessions for the AP U.S. History exam in Room 107 every Tuesday and Thursday until the day of the exam in May. Please bring your Princeton Review Book with you. And now for In the News with Jordan. Good morning. I'm Jordan Hopkins, and this is In the News. Our top story today, Hillary Rodham Clinton is hitting the road as she starts her 2016 presidential campaign, quite literally. Clinton left Sunday on a road trip from her home in Chappaqua, New York, in a van headed for Iowa, home of the nation's first presidential caucuses. The former Secretary of State announced her Democratic presidential bid Sunday and will hold her first campaign event on Tuesday in eastern Iowa. The road trip was Clinton's idea, Ain said. And the U.S. reportedly has taken on a greater role in the Saudi-led campaign of airstrikes against Shiite rebels in Yemen amid doubts of whether or not Radia can, can achieve its objectives. The Wall Street Journal reported Sunday that the U.S. Navy has stepped up patrols looking for weapons that American and Arab officials believe have been sent by rebel forces known as Houthis by Iran. And the families of 301 miners killed in Turkey's worst industrial disaster disrupted the start of a trial on Monday, shouting out demands that charged mining executives to be brought to the dock. The judge initially called in police, some in riot gear, to try and quell the unrest. He then adjourned the hearing and called for eight defendants being held on remand to be brought in on Tuesday. Well, that's all for news. Back over to the anchors. Thanks, Jordan. And now for the President's Corner with Father Valancourt. Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Easter. Welcome back. I hope we had a restful break and certainly a prayerful celebration of the Lord's resurrection. A uh, couple of notes on our spiritual life here at Kennedy. Uh, we will be changing the prayer in the morning from the Angelus to the Regina Celli. It's a beautiful prayer said during pa Paschal time. Uh, which really echoes the joy in Mary's heart at the resurrection of her son. So that will be sent around to all of you uh, so that we can learn it. We said it last year during the same time, and that's what we will be saying in the morning uh, with our prayer, at our prayer, before the pledge. Uh, also, we'll be having our community mass this Friday, so we will start off uh, this last, the fourth marking period, uh, in a prayerful way as we go forward towards the end of the year. Uh, one programming note for our seniors. Uh, please know that this part of uh, time of the year goes fast, and it's so important to get everything done that you need to do in order to be ready to graduate that first weekend in June. We're very happy uh, that we will be having our commencement at St. Joseph's Church right here on our property, and it should be a beautiful event, especially when it comes to things about college acceptances and scholarships, uh, those merit-based scholarship awards that have gone to our seniors, it's important for you to get proper recognition and certainly for the school to uh, basically uh, let people know how well you've done and we've done as a school to have those numbers, those amounts. So please, uh, if you haven't already, as that information comes in, get those to our registrar, Mrs. O'Donnell, as soon as possible. With that, uh, let's be off on a good run as we go forward towards this towards the end of the year, and let's work hard as our exams and tests come before us. God bless you, and have a great week. Thank you, Father. And now for sports with Ryan. Good morning, Kenyan Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Ryan Pods with your sports. Today we have a girls' varsity lacrosse game home at 4:30. We have JV baseball away at Salesian High School at 4. Varsity baseball home versus Salesian at 4. Boys JV Lacrosse home versus Iona Prep at 4.30. Wednesday we have JV Baseball home versus Stepanak at 4. And Varsity Baseball away at Stepanak also at 4. So make sure you guys are going out and supporting your teams. There will be a meeting at 2.25 in the library for anybody interested in playing tennis this year. So any tennis players go to that meeting. That's all for sports today. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Ron. Well, I'm Joanna Weidenhammer. And I'm Megan Weidenhammer. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, have a, a great, great day. day. We